Every once in a while I have to start a video with that noise. So as far as uh, stuff to do, I have obvious progress, and then I have a couple of sidetracking things, um, one of which is this stage, and one of them is shortcut. So I'm going to take a look at this, because I'm curious what it is. Okay. So, where on the map is this? Wait, oh. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I should have probably recognized the music. Not really sure if I get the point. But, alright. Let me buy some magic upgrades, I guess, because I do have a lot of money. No reason not to. Other than the fact that I should probably be spending it on better stuff, but... Ugh. You know, I don't know if I need that much. <laughs> I think I'm good. And, yeah, I've got that, so... Okay, let's go ahead and try the other treasure stage, and then... I guess move on. Except actually, hold on, this is important. I took a brief look at the list of feats, and I saw that one of them was to bounce on that hoop, and I guess we're not gonna do it, so never mind. What the hell is this? This is the uh, armor place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, let's take a look then. I wasn't going to be going back here, but uh, I really do have to buy something eventually. I really shouldn't be sticking with the default armor for the entire game. I feel like that's a bit stupid. <sighs> I don't need the magic limit. I guess I'll take that one. Like, that sounds kind of helpful. This one, I don't really like the slippery nature. Yeah, let's just take this one. Can I switch any time, or how does that work? Yeah, probably. Okay. So I do two of the aerial attacks, and then I get an automatic charge shot or something, I guess is what that said. I really don't need this either, but... What the hell, why not? Okay. Did I get that one already? I think that looks transparent. It's hard to tell. How, how would I get that? Just jump from... Ah, whatever. I'm not going to bother. Okay, let's actually go out check out the other stage then. Shortcut thing is weird. Okay, Frigid Flight. I do have an item that lets me fly, right? Yeah. Like, I'm trying to remember what the hell I even got. So, this thing I know. This I know. This, I still don't really know what it does. That's an area of effect attack. Invincibility. Yeah. 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 Have I used this thing yet? I don't know. Whatever, we're going to do this thing now, because I need to. So, how many game mechanics will I forget this time? Apparently all of them already. So we're off to a grand start. But, uh, I don't know, it might get better somehow. I don't think it's going to get better. Is that something I can stand on? I don't even... Well, I can die from it. That's, that's definitely a possibility. Alright. Well, I do have a uh, few random questions to answer this time, as I always do. Um, I guess I'll get to those in a minute here, after I figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Why do I not remember how to do these? It hasn't even been that long since I've last played it. Like, usually I go through a really long break between videos. Oh, right, these are a thing. That would also help. Okay. I am a dumb. 
That would explain it. Okay. And then I should be able to, like, bounce off of it. No. No, I guess I just... I don't freaking know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Do this. Do this. Do this. Bounce. Do this. Shit. I see what I'm meant to do. It's just kind of complicated. It has been made clear to me. Okay, so first question. Has anyone I known ever gone to jail, or have you visited someone there? Have I visited someone there? No. Have I known someone to go to jail? Yes. Um, and this is... a bit of a weird question to answer. Um, I've talked about it before a few times. With, uh... Basically, like... Anyone remember... I've talked about, like... I mean, I've talked about it a lot of times with, uh... Basically, when my family was, like, homeless for about a month. Or not even a month. It was, like, half a year. Oh, what the fuck? That thing I use, the... Uh, there was, like, another item for that. I just I forgot it existed. But, yeah, um... Point is, my mom was dating this guy who, uh was questionable at best, and, um, I still don't really know what his deal was, but pretty sure he was a drug dealer or something. Oh, I can just do that. Good. I thought I had to jump to use it. And so there was a point where he was in jail. That's about all I can say, though. Like, I don't know the details. Did I lose all that treasure? Probably. So that's, uh, yeah, I really don't have anything else to add to that question. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't want to talk about it much, because it's a bit personal. But, whatever. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, focus on what I'm doing here. Um, next question. Do you think that the people of the future will dislike what we've done to the internet? Um, by that, I have to assume you mean, like meme culture. Like, I'm not really sure what else you would mean by what we've done to the internet. Um. And that's hard to say. Because meme culture has actually found its way into, like, the mainstream now. At least as far as I can tell. It definitely is referenced a lot. Um. And then, of course, there's just the various, like, stereotypes, like, everything is porn, um, but that's been around since, like, the 90s. So, will people of the future hate that? I guess it just depends on how long it sticks around. I think that if, like, ugh, die. Um, like, if they don't like it going that way, then it will probably stop, except for, like, a few people who keep it going. I don't know, it's a weird question to think about. This thing just hugs the ground, right? Okay, now. Um, I might be able to use this. It doesn't activate until I get on it, so I'm gonna get on it at the very top and hope that this thing works. Okay, well, that, was, that was good, right there. But yeah, I mean, I don't think there's really a way to ruin the internet, per se. Yeah, that sucks. Um... Because, I mean, it really just depends on what part of the internet you're talking about, like... Obviously, it is a vast area in which nothing happens. But, uh... Yeah, I don't really have a good answer for that one, because it is a weird question that I can't really think about right now. Um... Will I ever look into the Monster Hunter series? And does that type of game interest me? Um, the person who posted that one said that they probably already knew the answer, and the answer is no, but, uh, I'll try to give a little bit more to that. Um, basically, I didn't really know that Monster Hunter was a thing. Like, it's not something I ever heard of until I heard Vinny mention it a few times in various streams. I've still never actually, like, really seen any gameplay of it, but it does seem to be a bit more like, advertised now, I guess? Or maybe it's just because now that I know what it is, I am noticing it more, I guess? But it's like, it got a bunch of focus in the Nintendo Badge Arcade for whatever reason, and 
that's pretty much all I've ever seen of it. It, it looks kind of weird. It's like... I also saw this video once. It might have been by Larry Bundy. I don't remember. Um, oh, I guess that was the stage. Um, it basically said that, like, if you're a Pokemon fan, you need to play Monster Hunter, and this is why. And I looked at the video, and it didn't really engage me in any way. Like, it didn't look that similar. Like, I, I get that you're... Obviously, the title of the series is You're Hunting Monsters, and as far as I can tell, a lot of the focus is on, like, getting together multiplayer groups to, uh... Okay, yeah. Um, was that all the way over there? Is that something I need to be concerned with? I don't know. But it's like, you get together these groups to fight big monsters that you can't take on alone, and I'm not really much for the multiplayer kind of stuff like that. That might only be, like, one of the games, though. There might be others that are focused on single player, and I don't know. It just... I'd really have to look at more of it to determine if it is something I'd want to play or not, but it's just, it's never... It's never, like, interested me, I guess. I, I don't really have a specific reason why. Yeah, these disappear after a minute, so let's do that again. Ah, uh, shit! Like I'm, I mentioned last time, it definitely looks like we're heading into the Wily Castle territory of the game, and um, I am definitely getting that vibe from this. It's sort of a uh, let's bring back a bunch of old mechanics type level. Oh shit! Am I gonna be able to make this? Yeah, I should. Guess I'll keep this item for now because it is coming in handy. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of series that I probably could get into if I wanted. I just... I'm usually pretty narrow-minded in what kind of games I play, so... It's just more due to my own stubbornness than, any, than anything for why I haven't really tried them at all. Okay, this looks like a fluffy fight. Now, if this, uh... This fireball always paths, passes in that pattern, then I should be able to stand here and be safe, right? Yeah. So I just go in, get a couple cheap hits, get hit by lava because I'm a piece of shit at this game. So just use this a bit. And jump into the attack because I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, basically, if it's not a first-party Nintendo series, chances are I don't really know anything about it. There are obvious exceptions, but it's... They're pretty few. And so... Like, even when people recommend me to try stuff, a lot of times I just... I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't even play... stuff that often if I'm not specifically doing it for... a video or a stream. So, it's like, if I'm going to be recording something for an audience, then um, I usually want it to be... Like, I've been doing a lot of more blind runs lately, like this, obviously, but uh, I usually try to make it something that I actually have a connection with, so trying out a brand new series is not always my highest priority. I'm trying to think of other series that I'd actually like, maybe be able to be interested in. That was a really good sentence. I'll say to be a few more times in that one. Like, I'm sure they exist, I just... Ugh. Really? Wow. Right now, I can't think of any. So, next one is the most important question of our age. Um, it was, uh... What is your favorite type of bread? And specifically, they want me to dedicate at least three minutes to this. Um, and uh, don't you worry, I actually did think of something useless to talk about. It's not going to be interesting, but I, I can probably fill three minutes of it. So, um, 
growing up, uh, my family always just bought regular white bread, and I never really thought anything of it. I just kind of figured it was like the default kind of bread. Man, I am losing all my freaking treasure. This sucks. <clears throat> um, and so it's like, in more recent years, you always hear shit about how like white bread is the devil, and it's worse than eating a slice of cake for the sandwich. Like, I, I never really got that. It's, I think it's more. I think it's probably one of those things where it's like, the other types of bread are much better for you, but white bread in itself isn't specifically bad, or at least it's not that bad. But I don't know. It gets a lot of hate. Um, and more re more recently, I've been eating wheat. Um, not that I actually have sandwiches that often, because we basically, like, if we ever buy a loaf of bread, chances are at least half of it is going to go bad before it gets used, so we just kind of stopped buying it. Um, similarly, the fact that, uh, another thing, growing up, we always had a ridiculous amount of freaking milk, especially with Jonah, because he was obsessed with it. Um, but, uh, it's now, like, living away from my family, uh, we don't always have to have three gallons of milk in the fridge and be able to get away with it because it'll get used within, like, three minutes. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! No, everything is sad. Oh my god. Please. Please, game. I'm trying my best. It's like, um, I, we didn't have this problem back in Illinois, but in, uh, Texas, for, fuck off! Uh, for whatever reason, milk goes bad, like, really, really quick. I think it, we just have, like, really shitty milk at, this, at the Walmart that we go shopping. Um, and so, like, it used to be we'd buy a gallon, and then within, like, a day, it would already be bad. Um... Or like it would it would go bad before the best like the the date listed on the on the like we would actually we would switch to half gallons and even those would start going bad like it would be way way earlier than it was supposed to and it, I still don't know why it's like that God I wish I could get that gold but um that that's a little bit of a side tangent um but yeah the uh, the best bread that I remember having was, um... I don't know what it was called. It's like, I call it... I remember it being, like, an Italian loaf, but it's not... Oh, fuck everything. This sucks. I hate this stage. Um... It's like, when you normally think of, uh, like, Italian bread, it's kind of like the, uh... Like, the French baguette, except... A little different. I think they're, like, crispy. I don't. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm getting my things mixed up. But it was basically like a loaf of regular white bread, except it was a bit like thicker than usual, and I don't really know how else to describe it. But um, there used to be this specific sandwich that I would eat back in uh, junior high, which was that type of bread with um, apricot glazed ham and Munster cheese, and it was a really good combination. And I have never heard of apricot glazed ham since then, and I've never heard of anybody ever refer to it as, like, a thing that exists. And it probably sounds really shitty, but it was really good for some reason. I don't know. Th th I, th I think I probably filled three minutes with that bread rant. Um, not even rant, just random off-subject mutterings. Um... Everything is sad. Okay, can I actually get to a save point? It would be really nice if I could. Did I even get to this screen before? I don't even remember now. Okay, you need to get out of here. There's probably some stuff up there, but I don't think I can get up there now, so off donkeys. 
save point. Thank God. <laughs> Terrible stage. I think that's about all the bread stuff I can talk about. There's not really much more on that subject that I could bring up. Okay, and last couple questions. Um, what is my favorite South Park character and Futurama character? Um, I don't know if I really have a specific answer to that. I did try to think about it off-screen, though. Um, South Park, I'm going to have to go with either Butters or Randy. Um, I do like Cartman, but he's kind of irredeemable. Oh, fucking really? Like, Cartman's obviously kind of like the breakout mascot character of the series, and for good reason, because he kind of kickstarts a lot of the plots, and he's sort of like the big personality of the group, but, uh, like, his whole point is that he's a complete bastard and is completely horrible, and while I certainly wouldn't like him as a real person, I do like him as a character. I don't know if I'd call him my favorite, though, because in some episodes, it, he is a bit much. Um, Butters, I like just for the fact that he is, like, the most innocent freaking kid ever and is kind of out of place in the series. No! Okay. Um, and then Randy just is, he's Randy. Like, I don't, I don't know what else you need to say about him. I think, um, people started having a problem with the amount of Butters and Randy that showed up in the later seasons because they kind of hijacked a lot of plots, but I don't know, I think they're funny. Yeah, this looks like a Mario World level. As for Futurama, that's a little bit harder to say. Um, I think Fry is a very good... Oh, really? Fry's a very good main character. I've noticed that a lot of main characters are really stupid, and I'm not really sure why that is. Um, but, uh... Like, I, I don't know why the character that's supposed to be relatable to kids for, like, Fairly Odd Parents, for instance, is always somebody who does, like, really bad in school. Like, is that just kind of the the typical thing now? Because I never had a problem with that, really. But, um, Fry's good. He's just generally all-around funny and not an asshole. Bender is funny, but is an asshole. Zoidberg, I don't think I'd place among my favorite, necessarily, but he's good for one-liners, at least. And just... I, I like how his character just went from being, like, an alien doctor, isn't he quirky, in the first season, to, like, now he's just suddenly poor, and everybody hates him. Like, it, it, it really kind of came out of nowhere. It was kind of amazing. Um... Professor is also really good. He's just completely, like, insane in every regard. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not giving any interesting insights to any of these characters. Like, it's just basically, hey, I like this character because they are funny. And that's pretty much all you need. Th that's how I am with most shows. Like, I, I was trying to think of, out of the main cast, like... Leela is obviously one of the main three, and she's a lot more down-to-earth most of the time, at least. Like, every once in a while she kind of has her moments, but, um, it's like she has a good backstory and that kind of stuff, but she's not laugh-out-loud funny like the other characters, and that's kind of what I'm more interested in most of the time. So yeah, that that's, that's my opinion. I've been going through... Futurama again. Um, I actually only have one episode left to do now. I've only seen the finale one time. I will be interested to see it again, because I don't know if I remember that much about it. Still gonna stand by the fact that, uh, Holiday Spectacular is the worst episode. And also, after now having seen, um, Game of Tones a second time, I don't know why that episode is so, like, highly regarded. Like, it's always put on lists of, like, these are the major feels episodes. Luck of the Friarish, Jurassic Bark, Game of Tones. Like, no. Like, the ending scene, maybe? But, I don't, it just felt kind of forced to me. And the rest of the plot of that episode was so stupid. Well, 
Rather, no. The the plot wasn't stupid. The plot was actually kind of clever. The the stupid part was like the resolution. The fact that it's like, hey, this horrible noise that's been playing that is destroying entire planets, it's just a Niblonian looking for his car. Like what? What the fuck did that mean? Like why why was he blowing up planets? Why was finding this freaking spaceship so important? It didn't make any sense to me. That is another rant entirely. Um, and of course we've got freaking construction outside, because why wouldn't we? Can I get this? <laughs> nope. I was trying to use the freaking the mid-air move at the end there, but it didn't come out. So, last question on the list is another, just, my answer is no, and that's about all I have to say about it, questions, and it is, uh, have you ever seen any of the Pi Pirates of the Caribbean movies? No. No, I have not. I never wanted to, because I don't like pirates. Like, at all. They're one of my least favorite archetypes. I, I guess I could explain why, um... I just find them gross and unappealing. Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a thing with me, and I don't know if I've really talked about it that much before, but in, um, in basically anything with, like, a medieval setting, at least anything that's being taken seriously, like, this game is kind of like that, but it's different because it's 2D. Um, but, like, stuff like Skyrim and most D&D &D campaigns and stuff like that, I can never really get over the thought that it's basically an age where nobody bathes and, like, people are constantly dying of random preventable sickness and it's, like, just generally gross everywhere you go, people shitting in the streets and whatnot. Um, like, I, that's not... It, it's something that I can't get past. And so, when I am ever put into a world like that, it's just... it's immediately off-putting. And <clears throat> it basically takes me out of the game, or the series, or whatever. It's why I don't like King Arthur, Robin Hood type stuff. Lord of the Rings is kind of the same way. Like, basically, if it's not... Oh my god, really? I am so bad at this fucking game today. If it's not set in, like, modern day or the future, then I generally don't like it. And... If it's a future, it has to be, like, a clean future. None of this frickin' post-apocalyptic, like, Fallout-type stuff. That That's actually just as bad, if not worse. I, I just, I can't stand that kind of stuff. And so, pirates are among the worst, because it's basically like, hey, let's get 50 or however many men on a ship for, like, months at a time where, basically, they just kind of hang out and are gross. Like, no. Th there is nothing appealing about that. If you want to get really stupid about it, um, I'm actually kind of, uh, like, I said that it has to be set in, like, modern day or the future, or otherwise it doesn't work for me, and that kind of goes to extreme lengths. Like, I didn't watch Back to the Future for frickin' years, because it's set in the 80s, and it's like, I was born in the 80s. The late 80s, mind you, but it's like, I, I don't even like anything that took place that oh my god why it's like at this point even the 90s are kind of too old for me it's like if, if it's if it's more than like 20 years ago then I don't like to think about it it was the sad times okay my goal is to beat this one stage in this video and not have it take at least 40 minutes. We're currently at about 30, so I, I, I don't think I'm going to meet this goal, but I will try. 
Yeah, is this supposed to be really hard, or am I just sucking that much? Like... Oh. My god. <laughs> I think part of my problem is I'm not really using my secondary abilities that much, but... I don't know. Do I really need to be? These enemies are just pieces of shit, too. Okay, let's get through this garbage. Get the turkey. Turkeys. Turkeys? Who likes turkeys? I like turkeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this is... How does it go? It's, well, I've got news for you. What's that? I am a turkey. I am a turkey. I can see you're quite surprised. Man, I can't believe my eyes. Where'd you come from, anyway? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Wow. Yeah, I think that treasure's just lost at this point. I don't want to be bothered with it. Okay, please don't fall off the ice platform. Thank you. Wasn't that fucking hard. No! Okay, that was a good series of secrets there. I liked those. Win must hiccup as many times on screen as possible. Okay, sparklies. What do we get from sparklies? Perhaps it will be a piece of trees. A piece of trees. I don't know what that means. As long as it's not... I don't even know what that was. As long as it's not the trees pop from that episode of Rugrats that I fucking hate. Cool! I should have spent more of my money before this stage. I don't know what I would have spent it on, though. I feel like I have more than enough magic. Um... None of the other suits of armor really appealed to me all that much, so... I guess I'm okay. But yeah, I am losing all my fucking money. Okay, well, that's one of them back, at least. Now can I... kill this asshole? POW HAMMER! Power Hammer is still the best attack in any game. I don't care what anyone says, I like Colette. Uh, okay. There's just kind of a destroyable wall here. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but we'll take it. Don't you fucking do it! I... I don't have to fight you, but I'm choosing to anyway, because I don't like you. Okay, bounce, bounce, supercharge, and all the diamonds fall in the pit. Good. Just what I expected. Now, how's this gonna work? Oh. Yeah, I guess you can tell from where the rain's landing. Don't you push me off the edge, you piece of Cadbury. Piece of Cadbury. That's what we're gonna go with. Not really sure why I'm bothering to collect treasure, since at this point I've already lost all of it anyway, so it's like... I'm not gonna make up for my losses, but... I suppose it doesn't hurt to try. I was positive something was gonna pop out of that pit and kill me. Okay, I can drop through this, get that... I'm gonna have to pay really close attention to where Rain is landing. So, no, get out. What are you? I don't want to deal with you. I don't take bribes from your kind. Here's 50 bucks. Please don't spawn in any more of them. Okay. And we're back to an area with actual lighting. Good.
Exciting times. Gasp. If I was actually paying attention to the plot of this game, I would have probably predicted this. Except he's not actually dead, so never mind. Alright, so what are we doing? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Shit, okay. I do have uh, full heals on me, though, so I'll have to make use of those. Oh, good crap. Um. Wh why are you shooting bubble bobble sprites or Metroid ground sprites? Can I damage you at all? No, but we can play Ganondorf tennis. Okay, I, yeah, I'm actually not doing so bad now. He's probably going to have a second phase, though. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if he will. Come on, now. Come on, now. One more hit. One, there we go. And possible second phase. Looks like probably not. Okay. So, that was uh, one level that should have taken me, like, maybe 12 minutes. That ended up taking me 37. Good. Well, I mean, I did do one stage before this, I guess. Tasty noise. No, I do like NES-type noises. They are funky in a way. <clears throat> Alright. So, um... That was not the most productive of episodes, I have to say. But, uh... At least I got through something. And... I guess I'll turn in this thing. Yeah, I don't really want to listen to any of these. Maybe at some point I will. And you still don't have any of these, right? Yeah. Can I even afford the magic? Just barely. <laughs> you know, I might as well. Is that the final upgrade? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think I'm maxed out on basically everything then, except for, uh... Oh, we gotta try the hoop. Hoop is important. And I'm bad at the hoop. Hoopy the Hoop, the breakout character of Portal. Okay, but yeah, I think I'm done here. Um, so the only things, that, the only stuff I haven't bought are the other armor sets that I don't really want, and um, I don't plan on 100%ing this game because that would require like going back and finding all the music scrolls and all that stuff, which I'm not really wanting to do. Um, I figured I would just kind of finish it normally, and that'll be about it. So depending on um, how many hidden levels are beyond this one, if any, but I'm assuming there's at least one, uh, we could be pretty close to the end of this game here. I, uh, yeah, this is, your, this is the point where on the uh, Discord I will probably start taking suggestions for the next game to do. But uh, we've still got at least another episode out of this, probably two or more. So yeah, hopefully it will not be as uh, fail-tastic as this one was. <laughs>